In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the easiest photo AI edits that you can make to make professional photos using Lightroom Denoise AI, all that coming up. So here's the photo that we're gonna be going through. As you can see, I shot this photo at an ISO of 12,800. That's a really high ISO, especially when it's low light, early sunrise like this photo. The higher ISO you go, the more chances you have of bringing in a lot of image noise. Image noise looks like this. When you zoom in on dark and very black areas of the photo, you can see all this graininess. If I zoom in even more to about 200%, you can see how much graininess there is in the blacks and the shadows of this photo. Now with camera technology, you are getting better sensors that can handle these really high ISOs, but anything over about 12,000 to 16,000 and up, you're gonna need to denoise your photos, especially to make them really clean. Here's how you do that. In Lightroom, when you scroll all the way down here to the detail window, you used to have to go into this noise reduction manual option and use a noise reduction luminance slider and pull that all the way up. Here's the problem with that and why it was good that they made this change to the new feature, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. If I zoom in here, you'll see that it does clean up this photo a lot, but a lot of these hard edges and fine details, especially in smaller things, is completely lost in the photo. And that was one of the big problems with this, especially a photo with a lot of high detail like sand in this shot. So if I zoom back out, I'm gonna undo, hit Control or Command Z to undo that change. I'm going to reduce this window and go to Noise Reduction denoise. Now what this is doing is it's actually running an AI query to find the noise in this photo, correct it, but maintain sharp details in your image. So when you click that button, a new window pops up with a very similar slider that we have here. As you can see, I'm at the same amount, 64, that I was using in the manual denoise slider. And if you zoom around to the same parts of the photo, I'm maintaining so much more details by using this feature rather than the other one. Now, if I scroll around and hold down my mouse, you can see a lot of that noise detail coming in, especially in the blacks and in the shadows. And then when I let up, it runs that to show you the enhanced version. Now, I don't want 64 in this. I'll probably dial it back down to somewhere around 50 so that it doesn't look super fake and super overdone in this. So I'm just gonna click this and scroll it back down to about 50. The beauty of this is that you can still use high amounts of this feature and not overproduce this feature as well, making your photos look fake. So when I zoom back out on this, we can see some other details in here. It looks pretty good. If I zoom back in, still all that detail there. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck create stack if you have that selected. Uncheck that because you don't wanna stack these photos together. You want these photos to live alone on their own. So if I just go ahead and hit enhance, that's going to enhance this feature and implement that into your photo. The faster computer you have, the faster this feature is going to take to render. The slower computers, obviously, you're gonna take a little bit while to actually render this. Something from about 10 minutes to five minutes, somewhere in there. So go ahead and make yourself a cup of coffee and then come back. Now here's the finished photo. It's created a DNG file for us to use and continue our edits. I like what it's done here. Everything is really clean. And as you can see down in the sand, especially in the really dark shadows down here, we've reduced so much image noise, but we've kept a lot of the grass detail in here. Exactly what I wanted to do in this photo. That's exactly how you use this AI feature and why it's so easy for you to use to create professional looking photos. If you want another video that's gonna help you out a ton, click this video right here.